Hello, this is Vincent from EV Europe again. Last time we showed you how to do the wiring of the BMS and the battery system of the EV Hype kit. This time I'm going to show you how to set up the BMS system by using the BMS control panel. If you open it, you will see this screen. If you select the BMS port, you should see the serial port of the USB connection that you have connected to the BMS main controller. Um, to see it, you need to power it up with 12 volt. If you see the COM port here, and it's only one, you can select the one you need. If you see several, you have to select the right one. If you see no USB serial ports, you probably have a problem with the driver or with the USB cable. So if you see only one like this, you select it and then you can select auto select. If you click on yes here, you can click on auto select connect so it will connect automatically the next time. Let's have a look at the control panel once all the parameters are loading. On the left side here you see several options. You have a status. On the status you can see all the live data. On the statistics you can see some history. On the configuration you can, like it said, configure your BMS system. And on the update you can update the BMS system. But that's not required since if you buy a system from EV Europe, we have already set up all the parameters. So first of all, I'm going to show you some of the main features of the BMS control panel. You have a status part at which you can see all the live data of the BMS. This is useful for troubleshooting. You have some statistics at which you can see of the history of the BMS. You have some configurations uh, at which you can of course set all the parameters. Um, most of them are already set up by EV Europe. Uh, I will show you in a bit what you need to set up. Um, we have an update section. Uh, you will not need that since we have already updated to the latest firmware and also the correct firmware and cell parameters. And you have a section of external po components, but you don't need that at the moment. What we see right here is the errors and the protection section. As you see, we still have a cell communication because we have not set up the BMS system completely with the CAN group modules. To do this, we go to the configuration screen. First thing we'll do is we'll set the date and the time of the BMS. If you click on the button, it will show a screen with the data of the computer you're working on. So most likely you can just click OK. Then we go to the CAN devices. So at this screen, we can discover all the BMS CAN devices. To do this, we have to include all the legacy devices as well and then you click the discover button. This will only detect the CAN battery modules, so no other devices in the CAN bus. If you have a CAN controlled charger from our system, there's no need to de discover it here. It will be detected automatically when it's turned on. As you see here, we have found two CCGM modules, so two battery modules with each 16 battery cells. They are normally in the unconfigured CAN device list. We simply click them and slide them into the string number zero. That means we have two battery modules in series. Now the important bit, you have to scroll down and then push on the yellow button commit configuration. Of course you say OK. You see it's saying everything is OK and then you'll see the two green marks. We have now made one parallel string of 32 cells. I'll show you. If you go to status, 
and then to cells you will see 32 cells in series the blue columns here are the voltages and the red ones are the temperatures all the way down are the balancing values but that's only in the last part of the charging cycle if we for example want to make a parallel setup we simply click on two parallel strings and we slide one module to the second string and we say commit again so if we go to status you will see two parallel strings with each 16 cells right now we have one series string so we'll just go back to that okay so all green again so all okay we go back to status where we see all the cells again and then we can have a look at the general screen Here in the general screen, you will notice that all the errors are gone, so cell communication is okay and there's no protection status. In this screen, you can also see the input and output status. We'll have a look at the output. You see that the contactor is on. That means there's no communication issue, there's no errors, nothing, so the BMS will turn on the contactor. It will stay on as long as there are no errors, no protections. On this part of the screen, you'll see the charging process. On top, you'll see there's no charger connected now. And if there is a CAN charger connected, the CAN data of the charger will be displayed here. Also, you will see the battery pack. So the total voltage you'll see here is the sum of all the individual cell voltages together and you'll see a current important on the current is that now you've selected and you have discovered all the CAN group modules you have to calibrate the current to do this you go to configuration general and reset the currents to zero now you see there's calibration to zero amp so this means you have completely set your BMS system you're all good to go now